A trio of three-sided polygons sprawled across the two-dimensional space of my notebook page, capturing my singular focus. The one on the left eye tried to seduce, only to find her obliquely obtuse, her oversized angle symbolic of the diverging vectors our lives would follow. The one on the right I could hardly dispute. Her compact form was indeed acute. But like her intelligence quotient, none of her degree measurements surpassed 90. This prosaic pair left me non-committal until I laid eyes on the one in the middle. Instantly I knew, enthralled at first sight, the only word to describe her was right. There she lay openly displayed, in perfect alignment with the sides of my page, ninety degrees of separation between her legs. Meeting at a corner like intersecting traffic, her 2D projection was orthographic. Miss Wright glanced my way, I tried not to react, with rightness of angle held wholly intact. Like a topological peep show, she began to contort, stretching one leg long with the other one short, And as much as her splendidly erect posture embodied geometric perfection, even when two of her sides were positive and whole, the third was most often irrational. Yes, Pythagoras gave her life, it was clear to see. But her mathematical daddy? Well, that would be me. Or so I imagined. I sharpened my 3D gaze on the 2D page, studying her form from afar, mesmerized by her acrobatic contortions, admiring the values of her pleasing proportions, opposite on top of hypotenuse, adjacent on top of hypotenuse, opposite on top of adjacent. I envisioned her on top of me. Now that's some sweet trigonometry. One ratio after another, I dared not stop her. Just like those fractions, I felt so improper, voyeuristically exploring her Sokatoa orgy. I longed to leap into my notebook, spreading thin and wide into the flatness of the page, entering her world, where our trans-dimensional love affair would coalesce with a kiss, eternally joined in Euclidean bliss. I'd gladly relinquish my third dimension, just for the chance to earn her attention, and should fate compel her to turn me loose, I'd hang myself with her hypotenuse. In my demise maintaining pride, content with just once having hung by her side. But I shall not receive this opportunity. Instead, I'm faced with reality. She lives firmly in 2D while I'm stuck here in 3, where I still yearn for this love triangle every night. I'm too deep for her world, but she's still Miss Wright. <laughs>